four, three, two, one, and liftoff. For a brief moment, we are able to ride tourist class with Gemini 4, watching the crew at work. We catch a glimpse of a space sunrise, flaring in brilliant color over the Earth's horizon. Using the same camera, McNivett photographed ground objects, including this small island in the Gulf of Mexico off the Texas coast. Shortly after the new ship came into mission control on the fourth day, the first spacecraft problem arose. The computer did not function. The malfunction was pinpointed in the 49th revolution. When it did not clear up, mission director Christopher Kraft made a decision. Gemini 4 would go to a rolling re-entry. He immediately queried the command pilot. Hey, Gemini 4, what is your feelings on a rolling re-entry versus a 90 degree bank angle? We're recommending rolling here. Yeah, get the job done, so why don't we go ahead with it? The 60th revolution, the fourth day and the computer out, but no problem. The flight surgeons made their final checks. Both men were busy stowing equipment. Now television and radio were back again. Gemini 4 would fly the same type of re-entry as Gemini 2, an earlier unmanned flight. We will illustrate the re-entry of McDivitt with film from that flight. This is an onboard camera, Gemini 2, looking through the spacecraft window. The film is reproduced at four times normal speed. Feeling great, how about you? Gemini 4, Houston, Capcom. Hey, uh, Roger, you start your rolling ramp. Roger. Uh, uh, your weather is still very good, Jim. Okay. Communications with the ground break off, but the onboard tape recorder is running. We listen to two men returning to Earth after four days in space. They're making a putting our ionization layer out there. They're not reading the same part now, probably. Roger, Kickapoo. Uh, we're just about ready to put the draw, uh, parachute out to the inbox. Hey, parachute's coming. Gemini, read. Gemini, read. And it's a good one, isn't it? There's a... Read. Nobody can read me now, but does that parachute look great? You're not kidding. During re-entry, the USS Wasp launched 13 search and recovery aircraft. Gemini 4 splashed down at 12.13 Eastern Standard Time, June 7, 1965. It was sighted by a search aircraft seven minutes later. Navy frogmen swiftly attached the flotation collar. And at 12.39, Command Pilot McDivitt opened the hatch. Both men took a deep gulp of fresh air. Four days in space had ended. Gemini 4 was a major advance in manned space flight operations the first time two men had spent four days in space. The crew, eating, working, sleeping in space, demonstrated that man can perform a number of functions in the exploration of space in a properly controlled environment and suffer no significant ill effect from extended space flight.